totally indicates that it is having straight teeth and while due to the straight teeth at the time of the meshing the noise will be created in spur gear so to avoid that we we'll have to use the helical gear so remember this so while explaining the things i will have to show the things related to the spur and helical gear so this i'll show you the helical gear pair and how it work see here now in case of the helical so first of all you can see about the spur gear i'll start from the start see this is helical gear why because you can see the teeth are cut in at an angle and that due to that proper meshing will be there in case of gear and helical for transmission of motion power and torque very easy so teeth are inclined so how much inclined so teeth are always situated angle in between 15 degree to 30 degree so that will be the perfect angle for meshing correct so this angle helps to avoid the noise this is an application planar machine while using that transmitting motion we we'll have to use a helical teeth for transmitting motion as well as a power from parallel shaft you can see we can run like this through the helical without creating a noise and which will take a more load very easily correct so this is about the helical gear now in case of another arrangement we can see for the case of the helical gear you can see this one this is a spur gear which we have already known which is having straight teeth while meshing see there will be the vibration and due to that noise noise is created at the time of meshing so whatever we have designed it's correct but the drawback main drawback is to create a noise in case of helic uh, spur gear this is bevel gear perpendicular shaft shaft axis you can see bevel pinion and bevel gear so it has having intersecting axis which is totally perpendicular and it will be called as a frustum like a structure why frustum base is bigger than top side so that's why while moving towards the top side it will reduce the weight now this one with the helical gear in which the angelic angle is situated in between 15 degree to 30 degree so this kind of the helical gear pair will have to use and the purpose is that so now this is a worm gear this circular part is called as a worm and this is sorry this circular part is called as a worm gear and this is worm so it is having motion as per the requirement and generally it can be used for heavy duty application as like in case of lift cranes we have used this worm gear this is rack and pinion again parallel shaft axis criteria classification so parallel shaft axis so rack and pinion moves like this so for making the length or lead while moving from one end to another end we can rotate as per our requirement so this kind of the gears are there so that we have seen now we we'll have to study for helical gear already we know the spur gear then what is the difference in between spur and helical so remember this well in case of major drawback for spur gear that it will not use for heavy load application first second thing it will not uh, operate smoothly it will create a noise and noise due to vibration at the time of animation you might have seen the vibrations are created or noise will be created because of not properly meshing that teeth in between the meshing time correct but in case of the helical gear it will mesh why because you can see the structure while meshing the teeth one teeth of pinion and one teeth of gear it will maintain area of contact and while maintaining the area of contact it will be properly transmit the motion from one end to another end that's why area of contact in case of the spur gear many times that will be line of contact sometime it will be point of contact due to that the vibrations are created the contact is not defined properly correct so because of that helical gears are mostly preferable in case of medium as well as heavy load applications spur gears are also used for low load condition correct 
बट इफ द स्पर गियर पेयर इज मेस्ट विद द हेलिकल गियर पेयर और विल हैव टू ट्रांसमिट द मोशन फ्रॉम स्पर गियर पेयर टू हेलिकल गियर पेयर सो इन दैट केस स्पर गियर आल्सो यूज्ड एग्जांपल टू स्टेज गियर बॉक्स ऑफ टू व्हीलर द फर्स्ट गियर बॉक्स इज रिलेटेड टू द मोटर इज हेलिकल एंड देन स्पर गियर इज यूज्ड इट विल अगेन रिड्यूस द कॉस्ट एंड इट विल गिव द वर्किंग प्रॉपर्ली सो दैट्स व्हाई वी हैव टू यूज बोथ but helical gear it has having more efficiency around 95% as compared to other gear correct so this will be the things there might be chances you can use a double helical gear for taking a maximum load so that we called as a double helical gear what will happen two times helical gears are connected how, how? you can see here in case of the spur gear uh, helical gear i told you the gear pair it means it include the pinion as well as gear okay so this is the basic structure while designing the helical gear that it includes the spur uh, helical pinion and helical gear so pinion is nothing but again it is a smaller part and gear is nothing but it is a bigger part so that we'll have to use now here is important as i told you at the time of the meshing gear pinion and gear are always rotates in opposite direction so that i will have to follow helical gear also but the different thing is that in case of the spur gear we have used the straight tip for meshing but in case of the helical gear you can see the helix angle is there for the teeth teeth are cut at, at an angle in between 15 degree to 30 degree so that's why helix angle is created and it depends on hands as we all know the right hand thread and left hand thread left hand means what the threads which are moving from right to left or cut in cut from right to left that will be left hand thread you can see in the figure this will be the left hand thread and if it is left hand so our gear should be right hand so for proper meshing and if for pinion is having right hand opposite vice versa for gear so such kind of the arrangement and additional point additional point in case of the helical gear so this is about the helical gear the rotation 3d view also i uh, detailed explain you so is this understood from your end samajh laga yes sir okay baki che ahat na sagle have you understood this yes sir yes sir okay okay no problem so just write down definition helical gears are few points just write down the helical gears are similar similar to spur gear similar to spur gear but but its teeth but its teeth cut and angle teeth cut an angle which is called as helix angle which is called as helix angle notation alpha bracket me dilya helical angle helix angle will have to consider alpha with the axis of rotation of the gear with the axis of rotation of the gear correct so second point write down 
इट कैन ट्रांसमिट अफकोर्स हेलिकल गैस इट कैन ट्रांसमिट कैन ट्रांसमिट मोशन फ्रॉम मोशन फ्रॉम वन शाफ टू अनदर वन शाफ टू अनदर विच आर पैरल टू इच अदर विच आर पैरल टू इच अदर करेक्ट दिस विल बी द सेकेंड पॉइंट थर्ड पॉइंट राइट डाउन द हेलिक्स एंगल ऑफ गेयर एंड पीनियन एलिक्स एंगल ऑफ गेयर एंड पीनियन आर आर सेम इन मैग्नीट्यूड सेम इन मैग्नीट्यूड बट बट इट एज हैविंग इट एज हैविंग डिफरेंट हैंड डिफरेंट हैंड मीन If right hand uh, helical uh, pinion is there, then gear will be left hand. So write down example, mana. And this is the left. If pinion is of diagram, no sir, this one. If pinion is of left hand teeth, left hand teeth, then gear has right hand teeth. this will be the basic consideration next point write down in spur gear so here i am uh, quoting the difference in spur gear pair in spur gear pair the contact between contact between two meshing teeth two meshing teeth is is line of contact line of contact which results in which results in impact which results in impact comma due to which due to it it generate noise noise as well as higher dynamic load fd value higher dynamic load higher dynamic load correct this will be your fourth point next point write down but in case of helical gear but in case of helical gear the contact between contact between two meshing teeth two meshing teeth begins with point of contact begins with point of contact and gradually extends so after point of contact gradually extend along the uh, along the diagonal line along the diagonal line across the tooth across the tooth this results in this results in smoother and quieter operation smooth as well as quiet operation smoother as well as quieter application sorry uh, operation correct so this will be the intro part of the helical gear pair you just read uh, draw this figure 2d diagram only so show the pinion gear so this will be the keyway shaft is there two shafts are parallel you can get here uh, from the side view so uh, left hand view uh, so so you can write you can draw also left hand right hand proper meshing you can show by like this 
So only figure A, you just draw from your end after introduction. Now we have completed uh, our unit number one. So better you will have to write the assignments from your end. So very soon uh, we are going to conduct the, your uh, previous semester MSQs also. I think from 16 tomorrow onwards. So the timetable has been circulated. So for that MCQ also I have sent you on your group from unit number one to unit number six. So you have to follow that uh, examiner will refer that standard MCQs and that also I send you. So you can take a benefit of this. Zalaki Sangha. Important is trade hand. Either it may be left or right. You have to show carefully. And of course, rotation, as we have learned about uh, that rotation in case of. Sorry. So, have you completed this? No, sir. Okay. Draw it. No problem. Done, sir. Okay. So this is about the structure of the helicopter. Now, introduction part we have seen helix angle indication is alpha, and which is situated in between 15 degree to 30 degree. Always different hands we have seen right, left. The smoother and quieter operation. Why? Initially, at the time of the machine, it will helps to make a point of contact and then extend line of contact. So due to that, the power, motion, and torque very easily transmit. As per the motion, therefore, it will uh, get smoother and quieter operation. So now next heading write down advantages. Advantages of helical gear. Advantages of helical gear. First write down. Of course, it is having smoother as well as quiet operation than per gear comparatively than per gear smoother and quieter operation than per gear second 
second teeth of helical gears second write down teeth of helical gears are stronger than are stronger than spur gear stronger than spur gear of course spur gear teeth next point the efficiency of helical gear is high is high kiti hai bracket madhe dila up to 95% up to 95% okay sagat maximum efficiency helical gear cha aste next it can be used or suitable for these gears are suitable for high speed applications high speed applications correct and next the contact ratio the contact ratio of these gears of these gears are high contact ratio means what proper meshing is high correct so these are the somewhat advantages next limitation or disadvantage you can write first thing for limitation these gears are difficult to manufacture difficult to manufacture as compared to spur gear why because in spur gear single point cutting tool uh, is helps to develop the teeth but here we we'll have to uh, require the multiple tool and through which we we'll have to maintain the angle so as compared to the spur gear it is costly so first limitation second is it will create it will create maximum thrust force so what is thrust we'll see in upcoming session it will exert a maximum thrust force on the gear pair on the gear pair actually i'll tell you what is thrust thrust force means at the time of the working in between the gear pair that is pinion and gear at the time of meshing sudden jerk will come on the teeth and that at that time the teeth are going to sustain that load and then transmit the motion so that is the basic rule and this thrust force is created because of the inclined teeth first thing and now while creating this thrust force we'll have to design this thrust force so this will be the extra additional design as compared to spur gear so therefore we are going to learn about the force analysis in case of helical gear the thrust force that is additional force in spur gear earlier we have designed only two types of force two types of the force first one is a tangential force ft second one with a radial force and their resultant that is fr we have seen but here tangential force itself, itself is there radial force is there and thrust force that we called as a axial force correct so this can be exert that will be the limitation why limitation because sudden uh, force will coming at the time of the meshing there might be chances of the breakage of the teeth and if teeth are going to break there will be the problem of working we'll have to change total structure correct third point it creates it creates more friction more friction comma heat generation and wear and wear can anybody tell me why this more friction heat generation and all that why this happens in helical gear can anybody tell me
why this happen that is maximum friction maximum heat generation why in helical gear as per the structure you have drawn tacha through logic kai la hota ilka anyone can tell me now see as i told you at the initial stage it maintain the point of contact and then line of contact for transmission of the motion power very easily so see here at the time of meshing proper meshing will be there and because of that at the time of working number of cycles are there and due to that number of cycles maximum meshing creates heat friction at the time of meshing so that friction leads into heat generation and that heat generation leads into breakage correct or we are so that's why this kind of the limitation will occur so to avoid this we will have to use a proper lubricant at a uh, in a particular space of time with proper viscosity that is important remember so ekadala kare more friction heat generation and we are have you understood this yes sir okay so now last again comparatively expensive comparatively means as compared to spur gear so write down these gears are more expensive these gears are more expensive why more expensive because special kind of toolings are required machines are required so that it can helps to get outcome so for if i uh, if i am a engineer and i want to develop a spur gear five five spur gear so in that case i will not develop or i will not go to the directly from this uh, i will develop from my side i will use the lathe machine or i will purchase the machines of uh, development of the helical and all that no if there is a mass quantity then i will have to purchase the machine and all that things if not i will readily available material or readily available gear as per my design i'll visit hardware and just uh, collect that so th that's why it is more expensive correct last applications basic applications of the gears of course in a automobile for transmission of the motion power and torque in case of the turbines also rolling mills so while uh, converting uh, the straight uh, uh, what we can say straight uh, rod into rolling or we can convert that in a rolling format so that we'll have to use hydraulic or pneumatic mills in that case we have to use the transmission purpose this helical gear and of course machine tool gear boxes and all that automobile gear box the gears are required must so these are the basic application just write down that automobile gear box machine tool gears steam and gas turbine rolling mills so everywhere we need to transmit the motion power so we will have to use see another option is there belt drive also we can use but belt drive it has having it will not have positive drive apan pahila lecture la bagitla baka it has not maintain the positive drive positive drive manje kay jevdi motion transmit input nahi ete tevdis output la jayla pahije that will be called as a proper transmission if it is not transmission that will be negative drive why because belt drive use kela tar slippage hona manje jevde rpm transmit karayche tevde honar nahi so that outcome will not be get will not be get and another uh, disadvantage is that belt drive required more length more space correct example floor mill so that's why to avoid that in compact space i will have to transmit the maximum power motion i should use the gears correct so these are the applications of helical gear this is just an introduction part of the helical gear so i hope you all have understood this i'll directly move towards the next part that is double helical gear now double helical gear indication is that two times helical gear that's it rest of the things are same only different is that you can see here the cursor Uh, if the pinion is made up of left hand teeth so the meshing will be with respect to right hand teeth again same shaft is there on which double hel helical gears are mounted 
you can see here 3d view also i have mentioned so at the time of the meshing so two shafts are parallel to each other that's why hinge bone gear or double helical gear it comes under criteria of parallel shaft axis so here also in case of the gear if first pinion is of left hand then bottom side at the time of the meshing that is gear it is having a right hand teeth and for that right hand teeth meshing will be done by the left hand teeth of the gear and for pinion left hand right hand pinion teeth should be there for the meshing you can see the 3d view so the hel double helical gear generally used for heavy load application or where there is a necessity that maximum load is there in that case we'll have to use a double helical gear of course here double thrust will create and that can be managed due to the rotation at the time of meshing so this kind of the things are there so now uh, double helical design is not included in uh, our syllabus as per the structure so this is just part i told you because it comes under parallel shaft axis so hs hs agree features as like advantage limitation and application same as that of helical gear correct so uh, no need to draw in all that things already we have drawn in intro section of the spur gear so we'll have to start the design parameters that just write down helical gear that is helical gear terminology you can just write down helical gear terminology so we'll have to follow same sequence which we have seen in spur gear so we are going to check the terminology so in case of the terminology i'll explain first what is that and all that now see here a uh, helical gear while designing it is uh, very important that if i consider the angle every time and i have to design that things then there might be chances of the difficulty there might be chances of the confusion why because you can see in case of the spur gear if i say the equation of beam strength is sigma b b m y that will be the equation of the beam strength but in case of the helical gear that equation i cannot use directly i will have to use the additional term that is angle because in spur gear the teeth are straight it has not having any angle in case of the helical gear there is angle so in the equation angle will be added in a equation of the beam strength so this is okay because the spur gear whatever be the sequence we have seen a same sequence we need to follow for every gear as i told you but while following the things we must aware about the additional parameter or unique parameter included in that particular gear as like in case of the helical gear you can see the alpha helix angle in case of the bevel gear perpendicular axis that is because of that theta 90 degree always so this kind of the parameter we have to take into consideration now uh, the diagram shown on the slide it we called as the virtual number of teeth what is virtual number of teeth now i'll tell you virtual number of teeth is nothing but the teeth which are inclined in case of the helical but we have to design that inclination as like a spur gear so that aplo confusion honar nahi kiwa design karta na ek proper sequence right tyasathi apan je parameter vaparto telach mhanta tu virtual teeth जर मी हेलिकल गियर डिफरंटली डिजाइन कराए मंडल इट इज पॉसिबल बट इट विल रिक्वायर टाइम मोर टाइम करेक्ट बट इन केस ऑफ द बाय टेकिंग द रेफरेंस ऑफ स्पर गियर इफ आई एम गोइंग टू डिजाइन देन आई विल हैव टू टेक द हेल्प ऑफ वर्चुअल टीथ वर्चुअल टीथ मीन्स इमेजनरी टीथ सी हाउ इमेजनरी दिस इज हेलिक्स एंगल हेलिकल गियर द कल्चर आई हैव शोन दिस इज हेलिकल गियर इफ दिस हेलिकल टीथ इट हैज हैविंग एंगल दैट्स वाई दिस पायन पायन मीन्स normal pressure angle correct it has an pressure angle and with alpha alpha means helix angle so the teeth are inclined that's why that shown in inclined section n n normal correct while passing this normal teeth or uh, helical teeth on two planes we have considered here two planes see this will be the transverse plane transverse manje kay horizontal linear that we called as a transverse plane and next one with the normal plane normal manje kay या हेलिकल टीथ च्या पॅरल असणारा दॅट वी कॉल्ड नॉर्मल सो टू काइंड ऑफ द प्लेन्स वील हॅव टू टेक अँड वी हॅव टू टेक द प्रोजेक्शन हाऊ वी कॅन प्रोजेक्ट सी वायल ट्रान्समिटिंग द टीथ हेलिकल टीथ प्रोजेक्शन ऑन अ ट्रान्सवर्स प्लेन यू कॅन सी 
this will be the inclined line one two three correct and through trans transverse plane or through linear uh, plane we'll have to transfer it in a straight line so while transmitting the straight line it indicates that helical teeth are converted into straight teeth for a design as like a spur here so that we are easy to design or we are able to uh, design helical gear very easy so that's why this projection will have to use and through that projection helical gear inclined gears or inclined teeth are converted into straight teeth for designing that we called as a virtual teeth of helical gear त्यामुळे हेलिकल गिअरला दुसरं नाव असं पण आहे की इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ व्हर्च्युअल स्पर गिअर व्हर्च्युअल स्पर गिअर दॅट इज इमॅजनरी स्पर गिअर इज दिस अंडरस्टूड फ्रॉम युअर एंड डायग्राम समजलं का रे बाळानो आय बी अंडरस्टूड दिस हॅलो सर बोल परत समजवता का एकदा तुला कितपत समजले ते सांग म्हणजे मला पुढे जाता येईल सर ते ट्रान्सफर ट्रान्सवर्स प्लेन पर्यंत समजलंय त्यानंतरच नाही काय कळलं हा मी परत एकदा सांगतो सगळ्यांनी व्यवस्थित ऐका वाय डिझायनिंग द हेलिकल गेअर वी हॅव कन्सिडर हेलिकल इट्स आपण हेलिकलचा स्पर घेऊन चालत नाही हेलिकलच घ्यायला पाहिजे सो विल हॅव कन्सिडर हेलिकल गेअर बट आय विल हॅव टू कन्व्हर्ट दॅट हेलिकल बिकॉज इट हॅज हॅव्हिंग अँगल but i will have to convert that helical gear into spur gear because uh, we know the spur gear design procedure and all the gear design will have to use spur gear design procedure but the additional parameters as i told you as like helical gear angle tumcha bevel gear madhe perpendicular angle that is theta 90 degree ya goshti mala add karat jayla pahije pan ya design kartana mala jar helical teeth convert karaycha asel straight teeth madhe tar i will have to take the projections मग प्रोजेक्शन घ्यायला पाहिजे तर मला प्लेन्स घ्यायला पाहिजे सो त्यासाठी मी इथं ट्रान्सवर्स प्लेन घेतला म्हणजे हॉरिझॉन्टल प्लेन म्हणजे जे काय हेलिकल टीचे इन्क्लाइन इन्क्लिनेशन जे काय ट्रान्समिट होणार आहे इकडं वन एंड पासून अनदर एंड तर या लाईनवर होईल ट्रान्सवर्स प्लेनच्या डॉटेड लाईन आणि त्याच्या थ्रू मी परत प्रोजेक्शन ट्रान्समिट करणार जे की स्ट्रेट लाईन मध्येच असणार ऑफकोर्स सो ह्या याला म्हणतात ट्रान्सवर्स प्लेन अँड थ्रू विच द प्रोजेक्शन आर कमिंग इन अ स्ट्रेट लाईन ड्यू टू दॅट स्ट्रेट लाईन मध्ये प्रोजेक्शन आल्यावर मला इथं स्ट्रेट टीथ मिळाले म्हणजे काय हेलिकल जे अँगल टीथ होते ते कन्व्हर्ट झाले स्ट्रेट मध्ये कधी बिकॉज ऑफ द ट्रान्सवर्स प्लेन आणि मग आता मला डिझाईन करायला मी रेडी आहे की बाबा हेलिकल गिअरला मी आता डिझाईन करू शकतो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस आणि यालाच म्हणतात व्हर्च्युअल नंबर ऑफ टीथ हेलिकल गिअरला दुसरं नाव आहे व्हर्च्युअल नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन स्पर गिअर कळते ओरलचा क्वेश्चन असतो ड्रॉ द टर्मिनल और राईट डाऊन द टर्मिनॉलॉजी फॉर व्हर्च्युअल नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन स्पर गिअर मुलं स्पर गिअरचे सगळे फॉर्म्युले सांगतात झिरो मार्क सो व्हर्च्युअल नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन स्पर गिअर म्हणजे हेलिकल सो दॅट्स वाय वी हॅव गिव्हन द नेम अँड इंडिकेशन इज लाईक दिस समजलं का येस सर बाकीचे येस सर ओके गुड now see here now what this angle and all that i'll tell you uh in previously we have seen the pressure angle in spur gear phi and it depends on tooth profile and tooth profile we have generally going to select 20 degree tooth profile so here is also we have to select the 20 degree tooth profile but while taking the tooth profile we we'll have to consider the things like here phi is a pressure angle eh? so normal plane this is transverse plane and n you can see normal plane correct so two planes are there normal and transverse so while considering the normal plane i will have to write normal pressure angle instead of pressure angle normal pressure angle so my indication or notation is here phi n zoom kara tumcha end la see phi n this we called as a normal pressure angle ani tasat transverse pressure angle ka tar transverse plane varun transmit jhalela phi t it baga phi t phi t means transverse pressure angle this is phi n manje normal pressure angle it a direct ready made phi is equal to asa nahi vaparat ka karan apan plane transmit kele manun normal pressure angle jala ani transverse pressure angle jala he don pressure angle jala tasach module pan don astat kase baga normal module mn correct 
and transverse meridian mt correct so likewise we'll have to consider you can see pitch so circular pitch we have seen the circular pitch diameter pitch in square gear so here normal pitch first type of pitch with respect to normal tangential pitch pt axial pitch pa so this kind of the three kind of the pitch are included as like a uh, circular pitch which we have seen in per gear rest alpha helix angle i told you here also you can see the triangle a b e angle alpha a, the term between the angles are here helix angle so alpha a so pt is the transverse pitch pa is axial pitch and pn is normal pitch so ya sagya goshti badalta plane mule so tyamule ithe mi triangle dile bagh a b e ithe vyavasthit dissat nahi so alpha is the angle and it has having pt transverse pitch and normal pitch uh, which includes so i hope you understood this so before writing the things notations and all that you just draw this diagram terminology gear terminology mana ani vyavasthit draw kara for the helical gear two planes transverse capital t dile baka tani ani normal plane la capital n ते व्यवस्थित लिहून घ्या आणि ते ट्रान्समिट करून व्यवस्थित नोटेशन लिहा त्याचे इंडिकेशन मी तुम्हाला लिहून देतो डायग्राम ड्रॉ करा व्यवस्थित झाले की मला सांगा draw the diagram at uh, 9:45 right now i think the notations and rest things will conduct in the next session but before that just draw the diagram here so those who have not given seminar they will get the zero mark zero marks sir already i have uh, uh, submitted that sheet and those who have not prepared yet they have to prepare and meet your seminar guide seminar uh, batch uh, stuff and complete your seminar if any query you can ask me as well as your guide also but anyhow you will have to complete your seminar i think a3 batch have uh, done the job correctly they have used the proper format they have used the literature review and intro part and rest things for that again today or tomorrow i'll take the meeting of a3 batch so that you can also aware what to do what next as per the syllabus correct and second thing those who have not filled scholarship form ebc form whatever it may be so every time faculty is calling you and all that so instead of that you have to reply on your group uh, whatsapp uh, group batch group jfm group you have to reply it and you have to convey the message to your faculty okay zale ka diagram re is it over no sir uh, take a screenshot so we will not waste the uh, upcoming session lectures time or faculty time correct karan itun mi late sodle ki tumhi itte late jana so instead of that screenshot gya ani watless mi atta lagit group var pan hi diagram takto mhanje udya paryant tumhi draw karal ashi apeksha karto so shall we stop here yes sir okay so do revise the session whatever we have covered
and write uh, assignment of unit number one and send it me the PDF so that I'll mark here in my uh, termos list. Okay, thank you.